Okay, guys, welcome back to Sink with Zara. So, for today's video, I was actually completely and fully out of ideas. Like, I did not know what I was going to do this week. And, uh, you know, I was whining for ideas. I was asking my mom, my sisters, and I was like, I need ideas. And then my mom comes up with this idea and she was like, why don't I tell you guys some basic types of bags that a girl must have in her closet and you know when and where you can take it and how to pair it up and i'm just going to show you some of my favorites on those categories and it took me a little while to understand what she's trying to say because i genuinely don't think i've ever seen this on youtube before and like i came up with five or six types of bags i'm just going to give you little details that you might not know So the first on my list is sling bags. Now I know, I think almost everybody in my age only owns sling bags, but I think sling bags are way better than most types of bags because they're smaller and very easy to carry and you can put in everything you need to take immediately, your wallet, your phone, your earphone, sanitizer, all of that. They come in all sizes. Some types of sling bags are really small, but if you need to carry more things, you can get bigger sling bags. And I think it's really convenient that way. Very honest, I prefer sling bags the most and I mostly just own sling bags. They're the best, especially for summer season because when it's hot, I just don't want a lot on my body. So backpacks are just off the list when it comes to that. I would always like to carry smaller sling bags because all I had to carry was my phone. So if you watched my previous videos, you know that my favorite bag was this yellow bag. And it was it's really small, okay? I never needed to carry anything else. Now I need to carry bigger bags because now I need to put in my phone a box for my retainer, sanitizer, sometimes wallet. But I will say that you can carry colored bags like once or twice with your outfits. But these types of bags are something you can always, always use for a very, very long time. But my mom gave me a bigger bag, uh, sling bag, because I need more space. So this has so much space. There is a front pocket, then a back pocket, then you open the chain up, and there's a lot of space in the middle. Sorry, there <laughs> still things inside this. A tote bag is a large enough and unfastened bag with parallel handles that emerge from the sides of its pouch. Tote bags are just normal bags, but they don't have zippers or buttons or they're not made out of fancy leather. They're just basic cloth. That's it. And I think tote bags still now were just something college students used. And, you know, just to put a few copies, pens, that's it. But now tote bags are trending a lot and it is so cute. And I see people carrying tote bags now in malls and places like that because not only are they cute, but they're also sustainable. You're gonna not pollute the earth and be cute. What can be cuter than my tote bag, guys? I have this white tote bag that says my designer bag is at home. I think it is so damn cute, but I always just carry tote bags to school uh, when I had art classes and we had to carry something we made or, you know, just chart paper and paint. And I see it all over on Instagram and people are getting the cutest tote bags with, you know, uh, quotes and things written on it. And I think they're damn cute next on my list are clutches now when do you carry a clutch you don't carry it on a daily basis i just carry it when i'm really dressing up one of my favorite clutch is this it's this golden clutch and it has this pink marble and it is really pretty now you see my inclination towards sling bags so if I'm too tired to carry this in my hand, I can always just take out the sling and wear it like that. And then when it comes to going to weddings and festivals or something like that, uh, I've got a few which I don't use a lot, but I still have it. So I've got this portly and uh, it's blinding to be very honest. And that's why I don't use it a lot. And I've also got a blinding clutch and it's really golden and um, i think it also has a sling yeah it does i would carry this and it's gonna make my outfit look 10 times better Fanny back. I personally love them because when you're cycling, when you're 
uh, biking and even when you're walking and you have so many things in your hand it's not easy to carry a sling or a purse so you can just have your fanny pack around your waist or even around your shoulder and you're not only gonna look cool and trendy but you know your things are safe as a girl i definitely think you should have a fanny pack in your closet so you can just carry it somewhere you know your hands are not gonna be free and you're also gonna look really damn nice Right, so next are backpacks. I think that's something everybody uses. And these days you'll even see this big backpacks. Uh, there's not a lot of use of it. It's just for fashion. But there are medium sized backpacks and some people even use the big ones for traveling. Personally, I'm not big on especially like the big backpacks. Uh, I'm good with my plain black medium sized backpack that I showed you all in my first video, which was backpack essentials. And uh, this is it it's plain black medium size this bag just fits everything exactly to my need as you can tell this bag is like really squished that's because i haven't taken it out in months because i haven't traveled so hopefully i'll get to use it very soon again next on my list are duffel bags i think duffel bags are so handy on my list are duffel bags uh duffel bags are very 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 handy because especially for traveling if you're traveling for a day or two and you just need to pack in a few pairs of clothes they're great for then and i have this bag over here which i don't think can be considered as a duffel bag because i don't think the shape is right but i still call it a duffel bag uh, but i do have a few others which are duffel bags for sure but we also use duffel bags uh, when we're on a road trip and we need to carry snacks it's great for then the good thing is that duffel bags are not too huge they are way smaller way lighter very easy to carry the next type of bag is a purse uh, actually i was not going to include it first so basically i borrowed my sister's because i don't own any and that's why i was not going to include it uh, but this is my sister's bag. She asked me to keep it safely and this is huge and I actually get the logic why you get your first handbag or a purse when you're in college because you can fit in your laptop, your books, your copies, your chargers, your wallet, your essentials, everything in here. This is my sister's bag. This is the purse I said I carry. Look, th there is such a huge, huge difference, but if you don't need such a huge bag then i also found this it is a smaller bag and the best part about it is that it has a sling there is definitely a lot of space a lot of compartments and I, still now i would always get really irritated when people would carry like this this huge bag and i would just be like it's taking up so much space what all do you need to put in this huge bag but I guess people have so many things to carry. <laughs> that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because it's really difficult to come up with new ideas. So sometimes you just got to make up ideas. And I hope you guys enjoyed uh, seeing my favorite purses. And if you did, do share, like, comment and subscribe. Bye.